Hello everyone, this is Kalpana here. So in this video, we are going to see a problem on coordinate geometry. So here is the problem. Show that the points A 7, 7, 10 and B minus 2, 5, C minus 3, minus 4 are the vertices of a right angle triangle. Okay. So here we have to prove that or we have to show that the points A, B, C are the vertices of a right angle triangle. Vertices of a right angle triangle. Say A, B, C. Solution. Here, A equals to 7, 10. B equals to minus 2 comma 5 and C equals to 3 comma minus 4. A 7 comma 10 or it is 7 comma 10 and B minus 2 comma 5 and C 3 comma minus 4. Okay. So. Using the distance formula, d equals to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Now we will find the distance AB, BC and a C distance of A B B C and A C. Okay. So let's find the distance of A B. A B equals to square root of since you are having A 7 comma 10 and B minus 2 comma 5. So this is X1 by 1, X2 y2 so you'll get minus 2 minus 7 whole square just replace x2 x1 with minus 2 and 7 plus y2 5 minus y1 10 whole square so this is equal to square root of minus 2 minus 7 is minus 9 whole square plus 5 minus 10 is minus 5 whole square. So this is equal to square root of 9 square minus 9 square is 81 plus 5 square is 25. So 81 plus 25 is 106. Is equals to square root of 1 or 6. So you got AB equals to square root of 1 or 6. Therefore, AB equals to square root of 1 or 6. If you square on both sides, then you'll get AB square is equals to 1 or 6. Okay? Consider it as 1. Okay? Now, we'll find the distance BC. Distance BC. BC equals to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Since you are having B equals to minus 2 comma 5 and C equals to 3 comma minus 4. x1 y1 x2 y2. So this equals to now substitute the values of x1, x2 and y1, y2. 
is equals to square root of 3 minus of x1 is minus 2. So, minus of minus 2 whole square plus y2 minus 4 minus y1 5 whole square. So, this equals to square root of 3 minus into minus plus 2 whole square plus minus 4 minus 5 is minus 9 whole square. So, this is equals to square root of 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 square plus 9 square is 81. So, this is equals to square root of 5 square is 25 plus 81. Again. Add 81 and 25. So, you will get 1 or 6. Okay. So, therefore, B C equals to 1 or 6. If you will square on both sides, then you will get B C square is equals to B C square is equals to 1 or 6. Okay. Therefore, BC is equals to square root of 1 or 6, which implies BC square is equals to 1 or 6. Consider it as 2. Now, we will find the distance of AC. AC is equals to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square which is equals to square root of you are having A equals to 7 comma 10 and C equals to 3 comma minus 4 x1 y1 x2, y2. Now substitute the values of x1, y1 and x2, y2. Okay. So we are having x2 equals to 3 minus 7 whole square plus minus 4 minus 10 whole square which is equals to square root of 3 minus 7 is 4, that is minus 4, minus 4 whole square plus minus 4 minus 10 is minus 14 whole square. So this is equals to square root of 4 square minus 4 square is 16, 4 4 is 16 plus minus 14 whole square is, let's check it. Four fours are 16, 4 1s are 4, plus 1 5, 1 4s are 4, 1 1s are 1, 6, 9 1. So 196. So this is equal to 196 plus 16. So, 9 plus 1, 11, okay, 1 plus 1, 2. So, finally, you get square root of 212. So, therefore, AC equals to square root of 212. This implies if you square on both sides, then you'll get AC square is equals to 212, okay. Therefore, AC equals to square root of 212, which implies if you square on both sides, then you will get AC square is equals to 212. Consider it as 3. Now, 
Now, AB square plus BC square is equals to one or six plus one or six flat one or six and one or six then you'll get six plus six is twelve one one plus one two so two hundred and twelve so two hundred twelve is equals to ac square so this is equals to ac square so therefore ab square plus bc square is equals to ac square which is nothing but ab square is equals to ab square plus bc square The sum of squares of these two sides is equals to the square of hypotenuse. So from this we can say that triangle ABC is a right angle triangle. Therefore, triangle ABC is a right angle triangle so from this we can say that therefore the vertices the points a comma b comma c are the vertices of right angle triangle so we have done a problem on coordinate geometry hope you will understand we'll see you in the next video until then bye bye